In the first part of converting fractions to decimals, we have seen how to convert the fractions where the denominator is something like 10, 100, 1000 and so on. You may recall uh, these examples that we have seen where 3 over 10 is equal to 0 0.3 and 3 over 100 is 0 0.03. What we do here is that we start from the right and we hop over the digits based on how many ever zeros are there in the denominator after one. So if there is one zero in the denominator, we hop over one digit and then we write the decimal point. This was pretty easy. But when the denominator is not something like 10, 100 or 1000, what do we do? How to do that conversion? That's what we are going to see in this part. Before you see this, you should be already familiar with the decimal division. So let's take an example, 9 over 16. What we know here is that the numerator is 9 and the denominator is 16. So we can simply divide 9 by 16. So let's start dividing. Now 9 is smaller than 16, so we can say 16 zeros are 0, the remainder is 9. So we write the decimal point and a 0 after 9 and continue the division. Since the whole number part is done, we write the decimal point in the quotient and bring down this new 0 and continue the division. So 16 fives are 80, the remainder is 10. Let's add one more zero in the dividend and bring it down. So now we have 100. 16, 6 and 96. The remainder is 4. The remainder is still not 0. So let's add one more zero in the dividend and bring it down. 16, 2 is 32. The remainder is 8. Still not 0. Let's put an extra zero there and bring it down. So 16 fives are 80, now the remainder is 0, so we stop. Our answer is 0 0.5625. That means 9 over 16 in the form of a decimal number would be 0 0.5625. Let's take one more example. Now this time, if you look at the fraction here, it's a mixed number. So, when we have a mixed number, we know that there is a whole number part and then there is a fraction part. So, if we convert this to a decimal number, the whole number part will be there before the decimal point, right? That means whatever my decimal number is going to be, it will be 7 point something. What comes after that 7 point would be the fractional part. That means if I divide 3 by 8, whatever I get, that answer will be there after the decimal point. So let's start dividing. 8 zeros are 0. 3 is the remainder. Let's write the decimal point and a 0 after 3 and continue the division. Since the whole number part of the division is done, Let's write the decimal point in the quotient and bring down this 0. 8 threes are 24. The remainder is 6. Again, the remainder is not 0. So, let's add one more 0 and bring it down. 8 sevens are 56. The remainder is 4. Again, add another 0 and bring it down. And 8 fives are 40. The remainder is 0 now. So, we can stop. So the fractional part is 0.375. Let's write this after 7 point. So the answer is 7.375. This is one method to convert this fraction to a decimal. Can you think of any other method? 7 and 3 over 8 is a mixed number. That means we can convert this to an improper fraction. And if we do that conversion, it would look like this. 7 8s are 56. 56 plus 3 is 59. 
so the fraction would be 59 over 8 and now if you divide 59 by 8 you will get the same answer let's try it out divide 59 by 8 8 7s are 56 3 is the remainder the whole number part of the division is done so we write the decimal point in the quotient now if you see the remainder is 3 and we are going to divide 3 by 8 that means this division is going to be exactly like the previous division the one we did before so here onwards you can repeat the same steps that we did before that means you will get the answer 7.375 if you want you can actually work it out and check it for yourself.